So of course, anyone can drive a rally car, but at what level and how competitive you want to be can be dictated by fitness level. Now, unfortunately driving a rally car is not as simple as hopping in the car like this and driving down to the stores. The high adrenaline, the heat, the pressure makes it a high pressure environment and puts a lot of fatigue on the body. So physical and mental fitness is absolutely key to being in tip top shape to go out and win. It's also key to work with like minded people and trainers who can help push you and get to that next level. I'm lucky to work with a team here in Formula Medicine in Italy and uh, a group of really good trainers so we'll head down to their clinic now and uh, see what they've got in store for us. So unlike other sports, with motorsport, it's not about being particularly fit in one area. We're looking at generic fitness across the board, and by that we mean cardiovascular fitness, strength, balance, flexibility, coordination, and of course mental fitness. So, so it's nice to mix up your training day to day, week to week, with different training methods and different programs. However, for me, cardio fitness is one of the most important. Because of the endurance factor of rallying and being in the car for a long period of times, you need to be able to counter fatigue and be alert all the time. And for me, the bike is one of the best things. It replicates a similar heart rate to what we have when we're in competition of around 130 to 140 beats. And by doing long stretches on the bike, it's replicating and spending a long time in the rally car. No pain, no gain. For me, one of the easiest training tools though is running. As you can take a pair of running shoes with you almost wherever you go. Of course, strength is important too to help manhandle the car. But you don't need to be a bodybuilder, as muscle is weight and you want to keep weight out of the car. Balance is something else that's also good for drivers as it helps to give you the feeling and how you feel the car when you're sitting inside. Any given day of my training could include up to two to three hours of training with a focus on cardio and mixing them up with strength and flexibility work in between. Okay. Of course when we're talking about fitness, we're not just talking about physical fitness. Mental is also a huge aspect and can help you to react quicker, be more clear thinking and make better decisions when you're in the car. And there are some simple things you can do with this and by downloading some free apps on your phone such as speed colour tests, reaction tests, doing some of these things daily will improve your skills. So it's now time to get ready for Rally Australia and even though it's the last rally of the season, there's no time for relax. We need to have a really good push in here so we can have a good push on it at the rally and hopefully go for that podium. We'll see you there. Follow us here.